No less took place in British submarine service. Nuclear power is on the way for the Royal Navy. A future even greater than the past is in store for submarines. At Vickers Armstrong, the Duke of Edinburgh saw models of submarines before the era of nuclear power. This development enables even the largest subs to remain long periods below. In the great yards of Barrow and Furness, Prince Philip came to lay the keel of the new ship. There was one slight complication. Dreadnought will have no keel. But that didn't daunt either the Duke or the Navy or Vickers Armstrong. In front of the dais stood a 30-ton steel hoop, 30 feet in diameter, ready to be moved on the slipway. The handle switched on a gamma ray beam and that set the winch in motion. The great project was underway. The First Lord of the Admiralty predicted that people would be surprised how soon Dreadnought would be in the water. An historic day indeed in the history of the Royal Navy. It should be abundantly clear by now that nuclear submarines will ultimately transform the sea power of the Atlantic Alliance. Uh, for one thing, there is the perhaps rather doubtful prospect for future submariners of remaining submerged for the whole period of a two-year commission. <laughs>